How you start writing a screenplay is completely individual and unimportant. Whatever it takes to move forward in the writing process works. Uh, some people start by writing a brief outline. Some people write a really detailed treatment. Some people don't even bother with treatments and they jump right into writing the script itself or they'll write pieces of a scene. Uh, some scenes will be clear in their heads and, and so they get it down on paper randomly and eventually piece together all of those scenes. Whatever approach you take that allows you to complete a first draft is the right one. It takes some time to sort of figure out which of these approaches works best for you and I encourage you to try all of them if you need to if that's what it takes to move forward in finishing a first draft. If you're going to write, you must write. The biggest hang-up for most writers is not consistently working on their projects. Yes, there's a period of time you need to think about your ideas, they need to gestate, you need to sort of work it all out in your mind first, but you need to start putting your fingers to the keyboard or pencil to paper if that's the way you write to move a screenplay forward. It's important not to censor yourself when you're first getting your work on paper. That's another major hang up for people writing screenplays is they stop themselves before they even put anything down. It's really important to let it flow out of you. A free flow of your ideas, your thoughts, your sketches, your pieces of dialogue, just let it flow out of you. Never judge your first draft. Accept it for what it is, which is a more pure expression of the story idea. Think of it in terms of a piece of sculpture, and you've got the clay, and you've sort of created the general shape of the thing that you're creating. And then you start digging in and giving it texture and adding lines and shape and form and all the things that it'll be when it's finished. Rewriting can be equally challenging in a different sort of way but it doesn't demand you coming up with things out of thin air. You at least have that clay to work with, to mold, to, to sculpt into something that will be the next level of your film. As you do successive rewrites, then you might give the script to other people who have fresh eyes and don't know really the script or know anything about it and can give you really objective feedback. When you're writing a script, it's important to think about all of the levels that need to be developed within the script. There's character, there's story or plot, um, there's tension, there's pacing, uh, there's the thematic elements, which can exist on many levels actually. Um, and then there's maybe some level of messaging that you want to put in that may be obvious, maybe less obvious, but some point of view that you want to inject into the script. And all of these things need to exist without hampering uh, the experience of the viewer so they aren't stopped by some big message you want to put out there or something that overwhelms the entire film. Everything should be able to integrate into the story uh, without it losing its pace and its energy. You have to write a film that's in sync with your resources and ability to make the film. You make it easy for yourself if you are thinking about the concept as well and how that's going to be realized. For example, uh, a film like Napoleon Dynamite was done regionally, it was done very inexpensively or relatively inexpensively, um, didn't demand a lot of special effects, didn't de demand physical effects, it was a very simple sort of character driven story with not a ton of locations as opposed to a film like Saving Private Ryan, you know, which is a big war film with tons of effects and tons of actors and lots of locations and, you know, lots of physical effects. Uh, you know, that's not a film that could be realized on a budget that an individual filmmaker can pull out of the air. You know, it's a, that's a multi, multi, multi million dollar project that can only be realized uh, through a studio. So at the very earliest stages of writing the script, it's important for you to think about what's ultimately going to happen with the script. And if you're going to make it yourself and you have limited means, then you have to conceive of something and write something that works within that framework. If you don't care about what's going to happen to it eventually and you just want to write a screenplay that might get made in some way, shape, or form, then you don't have to think about that so much. You just write whatever is organic to you and what, whatever it is that you want to say cinematically.